Coming up on this edition of Lake Area Beat, we're looking back at 2023, as well as looking forward to the new year and a new start. Stay tuned. I'm John Vetti. Last month I was sharing duties with longtime co-host Kurt Frieson, but there's been a change in the new year. I'd like to introduce the new co-host of Lake Area Beat, Assistant Fire Chief Joel Schmidt. Welcome, Joel. Hey, thanks. Appreciate it. Glad to have you on. How's it feel? Uh, yeah. All right. It'll be pretty fun. I think uh, I've you know, been on the show a couple times and um, get used to it. It'll be good. Well, you're starting off the new year on the big screen, so we're glad to have you. Yes, thank you. SCC's Mary Klein sat down with you recently to learn a little bit more about you and how you feel about your new role. Here's what you had to say. I started in the fire service in Cross Lake. Um, it was a smaller department. Came down uh, to go to paramedic school. I started with White Bear Lake in 2006, and it's just been uh, a sense of family here. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, and as I've moved on in full-time capacity in different departments, I've always been here. And when this opportunity ar arose, it was just, it was a natural fit for me. I'm Joel Schmidt. Thanks for joining us on Lake Area Beat. It's been a very busy year, but we look, we take a look at <laughs> It was not something I was looking forward to, but uh, I'm going to make the best of it and have a good time with it. Something that I don't do very often is be in front of a camera and I'm just going to try to have fun with it. a good group of guys and gals here that uh, they're really good at their job so it makes my job a lot easier with uh, with how they are so my dad was on uh, on Cross Lake Fire Department for 20 plus years and my uncles were in the fire service so yeah that was a pretty big pretty big influence in my life being able to uh, see that growing up and make my dream come true right like you get to ride on a fire truck every day and then kind of progress up the ladder into um, into the leadership role has been real fun for me and I'm looking forward to what uh, what the future holds as we said at the top of the show we're going to take a look at some of the highlights from 2023 from many community events throughout the year to the developments in White Bear Lake, here's a quick recap. so great having public safety night, uh, national night out, all the great events coming back in 2023. You know, coming off COVID a couple years ago, we're back at full steam and I'm sure the fire department was as well. It really is. You know, we've had, uh, we do the Fridays with firefighters and then uh, uh, public safety open house. It's great to get people back in here and we can actually have, uh, have good conversations and they can come see what we do. Yeah, yeah. I look forward to 2024. 
Yeah. The men and women who serve both the police and fire departments are the cornerstone of our operation, and we look to recruit the very best. As part of this recruitment series, here's a look at the police work through the perspective of one of the few females of the White Bear Lake PD. Growing up, my mom was a reserve for Noah County, and all of our family friends and basically our close group of people were all either current or retired uh, law enforcement. The big push for me was the recent societal views of police. In my mind, it's something that can be fixed. 10 years ago, 15 years ago, cops were respected. But with the right people in here, we can show society again, and we can show our communities, and we can show our family and our friends that we're here to help people. Your incident has been updated. New have message. Have Eddie coming to help. All right, so. Yeah. You were in the right lane or we, left lane? We were in the right lane. Okay. It definitely offers its benefits. Um, I have a different perspective on all these calls um, than a lot of them do. And I, I pay attention to different things and I can pick up on different indicators or clues um, just based on my personal life and being a mom and uh, kind of knowing how relationships work from the opposite side. You're gonna work Wednesday, Thursday. When you get a small community like this and a small department, their family. There's a special bond there that you don't necessarily see with other people and even other jobs. This job is more stressful. Um, so you, you learn to lean on them and rely on them more. The department is filled with officers that have the right mindset, the heart for it. They truly care about the community. This is Dark Side Nights right here. We're hiring. <laughs> and I would love to have more females too. It's a great department to work for. You really have full support of everybody, your coworkers, your admin, um, the city. The community's great. We got a lot of a lot of good things going for us. We're getting a new building right now, um, and it's just looking up. We we've got all these new programs being implemented, and new trainings, and new opportunities uh, with our new chief that we just got. And I think it'd be hard to find a better department. You know, recruitment has been a challenge in modern times, but we've been very lucky in White Bear Lake to hire some excellent people the last year. And these newer officers are coming into our community. They're very engaged, and we're very fortunate to have them. Yeah, I would say the same thing on the fire side. Um, it is, it's great to see the people come in here. We've gotten a great group of people. Um, I think it says a lot about both of our departments. Absolutely. And with public safety, we're always, we're always hiring, we're always training. So if it's something that you're interested in, come reach out to us. Absolutely. City Manager Lindy Crawford gets a lot of questions about the city budget, so here's a video to help explain it. Wiper Lake is known for its small town charm, which is a big reason people love living in the area, including me. I'm City Manager Lindy Crawford. The residents of White Bear Lake have come to rely upon the city's exceptional services, including beautiful amenities, well-maintained streets and parks, and 24-7 police and fire services. These are just a few of the many reasons residents have made White Bear Lake their home for generations. But a question I frequently hear from residents is, well, how does the city spend my property taxes? First, I'd like to say, city staff spends the entire year working to make sure the people of White Bear Lake have a balanced budget. The preliminary budget is presented to the City Council several times each year to review planned operating expenditures and capital projects. Before adopting the final budget for the upcoming year, a Truth in Taxation hearing is held in December to give residents an opportunity to ask questions and provide feedback. It's a great opportunity to learn how the budget works. The City strives to maintain a budget that maintains a 10-year financial management plan and capital improvement plan to ensure funding is available for future projects and capital replacements, as well as maintain a fund balance of not less than 35% of the subsequent year's budgeted operating expenditures. We also maintain a budget that supports a public safety model, which is oriented to being proactive, preventative, 
and prepared while meeting the staffing, support, and facility needs. Taxes paid by residents support operations of the City of White Bear Lake, the school district, the county, and other governmental organizations such as the Metropolitan Council or a watershed district. In general, for every $1 of taxes paid, the city receives approximately 20 cents. For a residential home valued at $312,000, $845 of your annual property taxes goes to the city. For this price, the property owner receives exceptional quality of life in White Bear Lake and receives 24-7 police response, 24-7 fire response, street maintenance, street sweeping, lighting and snow plowing, parks access and recreation activities, election activities, access to city publications, and access to elected officials and city staff. For more information or if you have questions, visit our website or reach out to me. Wow, now I get it. We only pay $845 a year and we get all of those services? Now that's a big deal. What was the highlight of 2023 for you? Uh, I would say, you know, we've been through a lot of change here on the fire department as far as uh, moving. Uh, we moved from our old building um, down to this station. Uh, we're all down here and in public works. So hopefully uh, we'll be in middle of this year. So it'll be, it'll be nice to move into some new digs. Absolutely. The construction at the police department and fire department has been huge. It's going to be a great facility. It's going to be great for us and the public. We're really grateful to our community for supporting us as well as our city council on this project. Um, between that and the winds of change at the police department, a uh, longtime staple of our agency, Chief Julie Swanson retired after years of service. We are very happy to bring in uh, Captain Dale Hager, who's now our current chief. And not only do we have a familiar face who understands our community, but we have some internal movement potentially within the department and it's going to be great moving forward. He's got a lot of great ideas and we look forward to 2024. Yeah, it'll, that'll, that'll be great for both departments also. That's all the time we have for this edition of Lake Area Beat. I'm Joel Schmidt. And I'm John Vetti. We'll see you next time. So I really don't have to say anything. This is great. Well, you do. Oh, shoot. I'm John Vetti. Last month I was sharing duties with long I'm sorry. Yeah, exactly. We'll see. We'll see how, I mean, we're setting ourselves up for failure here and saying it's going so good. I'm John Vetti. Last month I was sharing duties with longtime co-host. Co-host. <laughs> <laughs> see? Jinxed it.